K-State Research and Extension is a statewide network of educators sharing research-based information on issues important to Kansas. For more than 100 years, K-State Research and Extension has been improving the quality of life for Kansans. K-State Research and Extension is a partnership between Kansas State University and the federal, state, and county governments. This system connects the university to every county where extension agents serve as sources of information to their communities. Each of the 105 counties in the state of Kansas has an extension office. Research-based information means the information you use to make decisions is based on sound research, not opinion. To solve problems, we need to have all of the facts. Extension operations throughout the state are either county-based or district-based. County-based operations serve only one county, while district-based operations pool resources together to serve multiple counties. The areas shaded in purple on this map are extension districts. The Meridazine Extension District serves both Miami and Lynn counties. We have offices in Paola and Mound City. Our district got its name from the Meridazine River, which connects our two counties. Our district has five extension agents, one program assistant, two nutrition assistants, and three office professionals. To help you learn more about what extension does in your community, each of our extension agents has prepared a short video for you. I hope you enjoy learning more about K-State Research and Extension. Hi, I'm Abby Powell with K-State Research and Extension in the Meridazine Extension District. When working in the Agriculture and Natural Resources Program area, I focus primarily on livestock production. In the area of livestock production, I'm here to assist producers by providing them research-based information to assist them with anything livestock related, such as herd health, nutrition, and fences, pastures, and anything else that you can think of in regards to taking care of livestock. This rolls into other areas such as soil fertility, water quality, also working with best management practices. I also work with the Meridazine Extensions 4-H Youth Development Program. And in this program, we provide age-appropriate programs and projects for youth ages 5 to 18. There are many different things that people think about when it comes to 4-H. A lot of the times, the livestock, the baking, and the sewing. But also, there's many other project areas such as aerospace, public speaking, leadership, and citizenship. I also work with the Community Vitality Program area. And in the Community Vitality Program, we are here to help residents and communities to grow and prosper. We energize community groups and aid local businesses by providing leadership, research-based expertise, and technical assistance to make communities a better place to live and work. The last thing that I wanted to talk to you all about was my role as director of the Meridazine Extension District. And many of you may think that being director means that I'm the boss and I'm the one that's in charge. Well, kind of, but that's not how I look at this role at all. I'm here as part of a team and we in the Meridazine Extension District work as a team and we work very well together. But being director, there are a few extra responsibilities that I do have to take on. And some of those items include working with our financial support staff to make sure that our monthly bills are getting paid, as well as managing and creating the budget for each year. And so those things can be pretty challenging and math is a great skill to have if you're gonna work on budgets. The other thing that being director leads me to is a lot of employee relations. I need to make sure that I have good lines of communication with those agents that I work with, as well as our support staff within the Meridazine Extension District. Hi there, my name is Kathy Gal, and I am one of the family and consumer science agents for K-State Research and Extension. I work on programs for aging adults. Henry Ford, the founder of the Ford Motor Company, once said, anyone who stops learning is old. 
whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. That is our goal at K-State Research and Extension, to help people continue learning throughout their lives. We provide a lot of programs to help seniors in our communities. At K-State Research and Extension, we're proud to be a partner with the Alzheimer's Association. We help people learn more about Alzheimer's disease and how it might affect their friends and their families. We provide programs and support for family caregivers. A caregiver is someone who is taking care of a family member as they get older. They might need help with things like cooking or cleaning, paying their bills, or remembering to take their medicine. One program that I teach helps to make homes safer as we get older, replacing steps with ramps to make it easier to get in and out of the house, removing things that we might trip on, like rugs, adding bars in the shower or bathtub to make it easier to get in and out, and making sure there's good lighting throughout the house. Planning for future healthcare needs is very important. Medicare, the health insurance offered to older adults, has lots of different options. We help seniors pick the plan that is best for them based on different things such as what doctors they like to visit and what medicines they take. Our Stay Strong, Stay Healthy exercise classes teach how to remain physically fit throughout our lives. Staying strong and healthy reduces our risk of chronic disease, such as heart disease and diabetes. It also reduces our risk of falling and injuring ourselves. We also offer programs for estate planning. An estate plan is a list of instructions to our family once we are no longer here. These instructions might include what to do with our home or car or how to use any money that we might have left. Another part of our estate plan gives instructions on what to do with family heirlooms. Family heirlooms are important items that we have had throughout our life. This might be a favorite toy, a watch, or a piece of jewelry. In our estate plan, we can leave a list of who receives which item once we are gone. Estate plans are very helpful to our family. Visit our website for more information about our aging. 4-H is more than just cows and cooking. 4-H began in 1902 as youth corn and canning clubs. Today, 4-H programs can be found in every state and even many countries. Kansas 4-H is brought to you by Kansas State University and it's part of K-State Research and Extension. Hello, I'm Carla Hightower. I'm the 4-H Youth Development Agent for the Meridazine Extension District. In the Meridazine Extension District, which consists of Miami and Lynn Counties, we have approximately 600 4-H members and reach another 400 youth through camps, educational events, and workshops. The district has 22 community 4-H clubs that meet monthly, covering the two counties, including one that meets right here in Osawatomie. 4-H is the largest non-formal youth development organization in the United States. In Kansas, 4-H programs reach youth from ages 5 to 18. You can join 4-H at age 7 and continue until you turn 19 before January 1st. We also have Cloverbud members for those 5 and 6-year-olds to introduce them to 4-H through activities and games. The 4-H emblem is a green and white four-leaf clover with H's on each of the leaves. The 4-H emblem is protected by a congressional order similar to the seal of the President of the United States. The H's stand for head, heart, hands, and health. 4-H'ers learn through hands-on experiences that in 4-H we call projects. There are over 35 different projects that 4-H'ers can enroll in. Projects include many different subjects, including rocketry, robotics, performing arts, and photography, as well as the traditional animal projects. In 4-H, there is something for everyone, regardless of whether you live on a farm, in the country, in the town, or in the city. One of the strengths of 4-H is the partnerships. 
Youth and adults work together to learn, grow, and solve issues. Teen 4-H members teach younger 4-H members about their projects. Mentoring is an important part of the 4-H experience. A cornerstone of 4-H is community service. 4-H clubs participate in many community service activities from putting up flags for Veterans Day and Memorial Days, helping at food distribution and pantries such as harvesters, cleaning up parks, and raising money for local charities. 4-H'ers contribute to their communities and make them a better place to live. 4-H has some basic principles that it provides youth. Leadership is one of the skills that youth develop in 4-H. Whether they are leading groups, speaking in front of others, organizing events and activities, 4-H'ers find a variety of ways to showcase and practice their leadership skills. 4-H members also learn about citizenship. Through 4-H, they learn about different levels of government and what it takes to be a good citizen. 4-H members hold mock state and national legislative debates and learn how to write bills at different conferences. Meridazine District 4-H members also have the opportunity to page at the state capitol in Topeka. Public speaking is a hallmark of every 4-H program. At club meetings, 4-H members are encouraged to give talks on their projects. 4-H members are given time to improve their public speaking skills through events such as 4-H Day where they can write and give many different types of speeches as well as drama and music performances. One of my favorite quotes is from Helen Keller, Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. This is the principle of 4-H. In 4-H we believe in the power of young people and see every child has valuable strengths and real influence to improve the world around us. Together with other 4-H'ers, we find out that together we can do so much. 4-H is more than just cows and cooking. 4-H empowers youth to reach their full potential, working and learning in partnership with caring adults. Hey guys, it's Caitlin Barthel out of the Meridazine Extension District, housed out of the Paola office. And here's what I do as a K-State Research and Extension Agriculture Agent. Hope you guys enjoy! One. Help farmers with any questions they may have on planting crop, soil testing, baling hay, taking care of livestock. Two, help homeowners with any questions they have on pond management, lawn pest problems, garden pest control, i.e. squash bugs, tree problems, three, help with the 4-H youth program, spring livestock shows, Miami County Fair, Kansas State Fair, Kansas Junior Livestock Show, and I'm here to help. Here's my contact information. Hi, I'm Franny Eastwood family and consumer science agent in the Meridacine District. My subject areas are nutrition, food safety, health, and family development. My job is to educate. I teach nutrition, food safety, and health classes to kids and adults at schools, libraries, senior centers, and other places throughout the community. I also spread my nutrition and health messages at various health fairs and ag days throughout Lynn and Miami counties. I help with the 4-H youth program in the summer. And I work with different local coalitions and groups to help raise awareness towards healthy practices and make environmental changes to keep our communities healthy. A few of my programs include Walk Kansas Every Spring, Serve Safe, a training for restaurant and food service workers, Stay Strong, Stay Healthy, an exercise program for older adults, and Come Grow With Us, a series of canning and food safety classes. K-State Research and Extension in the Meridazine District strives to bring research-based education to the public to help make your life better. We are also an equal opportunity employer.